And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Detroit Tigers taking on the New York Yankees. Book Shambi alongside Chris Singleton. And Chris, we've got an opportunity to watch one of the true superstars in the sport. Aaron Judge leads the team at OPS. So he's the guy that looks to slug and basically make things happen for them offensively. Just a machine in terms of production at the plate. He'll take his walks. He'll barrel up the baseball. He'll hit the ball in the gap. So he'll hit the ball over the fence. So talk about a guy going good. That's him right now. And he's a bat that you want to stay away from if you're the pitcher. Ready for baseball here in New York. And on the mound in this one, Carlos Rodon. Well, this guy's just been filthy out there on the mound. Hitters batting under 200 against him, and they're just having a hard time squaring up anything, doing any type of damage. The only way he hurts himself is if he gives up the free passes and surrenders a rare home run. But outside of that, it's going to be a tough job for the opposing lineup today. Okay, all set to go. And now, Akil Badu. Swing at a ball popped up. He puts it in his pocket, safe at first without a play. Hey, whatever works, right? Doesn't have to be impressive. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff for the base hit. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Zach McKinstry oh, now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Rodon ready. Here comes. And a strike. Next oh. offering misses down and away. And now two oh. and two. That's a little bit low. Rodon sets and deals. That one 95 to finish him off. Came inside with that two strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. And next to hit for Detroit, Spencer Torkelson. That one clips the outside corner. It's 0-1. Rodon fires. That's in there. That is strike two. Two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter in an 0-2 count. If you're up there at the plate, you got to look up in the zone and spit on anything that's down. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Lead runner around second. Connor Falefa to third. Lead runner holds at third. So two runners in scoring position and just one out. The first base Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. And now up to hit, Miguel Cabrera. First offering misses the mark. And here it comes. Just no. missed. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Rodon the 2 0. Popped in the air. Left field. Pereira puts it away. Runner tags for home. The throw is offline and he's in to score. And it's 1 0. 
There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Got the job done. Now it's the right fielder, Kerry Carpenter. They'll expect a back and forth this entire game because of how good the offenses are. First pitch, and he just misses. They've got him working a little harder in this first frame than he anticipated. Little trouble with this one behind the plate. He's in there. And on the wild pitch, he goes down to third. Even with a good secondary lead, sometimes it's hard to see just how far that ball's gotten away from the catcher. And if you can make it to third base, pretty much standing up. Well, that time, he seemed to have a pretty good read, gets to third safely, and now he's just 90 feet away from scoring. Next offering is fouled back. Catches the zone for a strike. It's two and two. Runner at third, two away. This one in the dirt, and well done to keep it close. Toss to LeMahieu, inning over, and it could have been worse. One run, a pair of hits, no errors, and one left on. On to the bottom of the first. It's the Tigers one, and the Yankees coming to bat. here in New York and today's starter Reese Olsen well no doubt about it he's going to have to put together some consistently good performances in order to bring that ERA down now he's got good stuff he's just got to be able to have confidence trusted and really go after hitters not nibble trusted his stuff can have late life in miss barrels of bats here's the veteran first baseman DJ LeMayhew ground ball right side Cabrera sends it to first. One up, one down. Batting second. The catcher, Aaron Judge. Here comes Aaron Judge. Put that 600 slugging into context. The league average usually in the low 400s. Well, here's Aaron Judge, a former rookie of the year, an MVP in 2022, and of course, Singy, the cover man for MLB The Show in 2018. The wind of the pitch. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. An absolutely majestic shot. His 32nd of the year. It's 1-1. He absolutely feasts on right-handed pitching and devours that one for a homer. And you can see that's what he expects of himself at bat after at bat. He's that confident. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. So it's all tied up thanks to the home run. And up next for New York, Kyle Higashioka. And a good fastball to start him off. At strike one. Yeah, it's hard to imagine after Derek Jeter, the New York Yankees, having a homegrown player that can be such a face of the franchise. But this guy's not just the face. He takes up the entire cover with his size and stature. Tied up here in the early going. Swing and a high fly ball left field. Badu snags it for the second out. It's a good recovery, though, after giving that up the home goal. run. Not the allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter. And a tough right. one at that. Two outs, space is empty. Here's Glaber Torres. Strike one. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Meadows under it. And he makes the catch. And that'll do it. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. All even now at 1-1. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show.
Back in New York, top of the second. Here is the rookie third baseman, Andre Lipsius. And a pitch. There's a strike. And that's through there for a strike. Making the calls behind the plate in this one is Woody Keller. Yeah, and Woody does a pretty good job back there, Boog. He's got a pretty fair strike zone most of the time. Maybe some inconsistency here or there, but usually he's back there doing a solid job. Just misses the mark outside the zone. What about some no-nos? Like, you can't call the umpire blue the way you do in Little League or high school, right? <laughs> yeah. Even in the minor leagues, you'll learn quickly. Uh, you call the umpire blue. You better learn his name. And uh, that's just part of being a professional player and even a major league player. Meadows up now for the Tigers pitch misses inside and that's ball one one ball no strike bottom of the zone and a called strike Check swing, went around, one and two. Kicks and fires. In the air on the infield, Volpe under it. And it's caught for the out. Batting in, the shortstop, Javier. Now it's Javier Baez. First no. offering, and it just misses. That one fouled off. The pitch. Good eye right there. Two balls, one strike. And it's even up. Spin rate's outstanding on that high fastball. Really tough to hit. And the 2-2. And that one a little bit high. Downstairs, and it misses ball four. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the oh, offensive that. side of it. Jake Rogers stands in with two away as he takes a ball. The next pitch ball. misses. Now 2-0. Step off throw to first. No, Baez can't. back in safely. Back over to first. And he's back in that time as well. Back to first. And again, he's back safely. Next offering is fouled back. And a pitch. Oh, and right. he takes a strike. He's going. Baez runs. Shoots a line drive single into right center. And now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, 
took the barrel right to it and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Akil Badu up now for the Tigers. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Corners are occupied with two down. Next offering is in for a strike. In the air, right side, Cabrera under it. He's got it. And that is out number three. Two left on. We go to the bottom of inning number two. All tied, 1-1. One, one. Here at New Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, bottom half of inning number two. And now the shortstop, Anthony Volpe. Olsen back to work. And yeah, that's outside. Just off the inside edge. Good hitters count the 2 0. -oh. And that's in for a strike. 2 1. That one finds the corner. Two and two now. And the right hander deals. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Next offering is foul back. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Still two and two after the foul ball. The pitch. Full count. Got him. One out. Just indecisive in that at bat. He couldn't commit to the slider. Tried to sit in between. Just not able to put the bat on the ball. Isaiah Kiner Falefa up to the plate. Now this is in the air down the line. Great effort as he's able to haul it in. And there's two down. And now it's going to be Everson Pereira. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. A bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. Kelly just threw that fastball by him, elevated. And if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Next one just misses. And the count is two and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. So the Yanks go in order. Score remains tied 1-1. Back now in the Bronx, top half of the third inning. Now the number two hitter, Zach McKinstry. McKinstry. Rodone back to work. Ball one there. That misses off the outside edge. 
the wind of the pitch. Just missed. That one finds the zone. Three and one. Three one. The wind and the pitch. And a swing and a miss there. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Torkelson batting with one down takes a strike. And it's quickly nothing in two. Uh, the designated hitter. Out to short. Volpe. Gathers and he throws to first. And they get Torkelson for the out. Now batting the first baseman. Miguel. And now the first baseman, Miguel Cabrera. Drove in a run with a sack fly his first time up. That one oh a little my. bit high, and that's ball one. Just no. off the outside edge. To the right side, into the outfield, base hit. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Man at first, Kerry Carpenter, the next to hit. And that one fouled off. The 0 1. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. The high heat, too much on that one. Tigers leave one. Still tied. 1 1. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the third baseman, Oswald Peraza. And he deals. And the slider catches the zone. Outside. This one high in the air to left center. Badu hauls it in for the out. And there's one away. Batting none. The right fielder. Oswaldo. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Oswaldo Cabrera. And that's in there for strike one. He deals. Gonna count one and two. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. He came out of his mechanics there. The Typically baseball. likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. Here's DJ LeMayhew. 0 for 1. He grounded out to first his last time. In there for strike one. 
He's gotten into a really good rhythm, sat down seven in a row. He just wants to get the baseball and deliver it as quickly as possible. Keep the momentum going. Here's the 0 2. That one is upstairs. I don't like to say he wasted a pitch. I think that was a purpose pitch. Change the eye level, have him look up. Now go back exactly where you want to go. Two outs. Fights it off, you'll see another. Right hander kicks, deals. Out towards left center, Meadows. He ranges to his right and puts the squeeze on that. And that is that. Yanks held in check. Score remains deadlocked at one. Out of the fourth, now the third baseman, Andre Lipsius. Andre saying four homers in 22 games at old Yankee Stadium what do you remember well I remember my rookie year hitting two in one game and you know before that game in the clubhouse there was a gentleman there who owned a suit company there in downtown Manhattan and he said to me hey kid you hit a home run in the game tonight come over to the store tomorrow and I'll give you a free suit Rodon ready the 0 2 on the way tap back up the middle Throws to first, He's out. and one gone to the fourth as they get the leadoff man. Good late life on that inside fastball. Ran in on Good the hands and got that weak contact. Parker. Little slow grounder to Meadows. get the out. Here's the center fielder, Parker Meadows. He popped out his first time. Ah. That's in for a strike. So I went into the game. I happened to hit two when I walked into the store the next day and he looked at me and said, you're trying to put me out of business, aren't you? And that was a <laughs> great, great experience that I had as a rookie playing against the Yankees playing in New York. Volpe throws to first in time. Two up, two down. Now batter, the shortstop, Javier Baez. The batter now, Javier Baez. Worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. So did Super Joe give you two suits? Super Joe hooked me up with two suits. The why to kick the pitch. Ball two. Next pitch misses way outside. And he walked him. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Jake Rogers digs in now. One for one with a single so far. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Next offering is in for a strike. And a foul ball, he stays alive. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. And now the lefty, swing and a miss, and that is that. One left for Detroit, onto the bottom of the fourth, tied 1-1. One -one. Ready to go, bottom four. Here's the power hitting catcher, Aaron Judge. Aaron Judge. And a pitch. And that's in for a strike. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. Off to a good start with a leadoff knock. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. 
And next is the designated hitter, Kyle Higashioka. Flied out his first time. In there, and it's 0-1. Righty delivers. Base hit right field. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Glaber Torres up to hit. Flight out to center in his first at bat. And takes low for ball one. And that one no, just outside. missed off the outside edge. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Take a 2 -0. And a foul ball. Next pitch misses. Now three and one. Anthony Volpe waiting to hit for the Yankees. No outs. Runners at first and second. Swings and misses and we're filled up. Gets a piece. And stays alive. The pitch stays alive. They all pitch. And that's a strikeout looking. Fastball to letters throws him for strike three. Really good battle right there. That final pitch probably could have gone either way. He was hoping he'd get ball four. Instead, the umpire rings him up for the backwards K. Anthony Volpe stepping in now for the Yankees. His first hit bat was a strikeout. And a foul ball left side. Now the 0-1. That one fouled hard the other way. One out. Runners at first and second. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, clearly just anxious right there, and understandably so. In an 0-2 count, you feel like you've got a lot of plate to cover, and you don't want to strike out, and you end up striking out. That's just one of those pitches where it's not over the plate, but because you committed to it as it was leaving his hand, by the time you realized it wasn't going to be in the zone, it's too late to hold up your swing. And now Isaiah kiner falefa Late swing, fouled off. Kicks and deals. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. And that'll fall for a base hit. The throw home. Runner from second crosses the plate. It's 2-1. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring it back. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. Everson Pereira now at the plate. Went down on strikes his first time through. Ball one, no strikes. Back. 
Bounce to third. Throw on to Cabrera. That's out number three. But the RBI single pushes across a run. And it's now a 2-1 ball game. You're dialed into the show. Back in the Bronx, here's a speed threat, Akil Badu. The pitch. There's the strike. Not what he's looking for there, the OO Cal. Looks like he wants the ball down in his own. Next pitch misses outside, and it's one and one. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. The one two. That's the ball. Two two. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And now one away. Oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher, it's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders. Have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think ah. everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. And now oh. the count is even. Swing and a miss. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing play. Next offering is down low. Two and two. Two, two strikes. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. The pitch. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Well, he's having a tough time getting a pitch by him. As a hitter, you feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. Popped up. Volpe gets under it. Hauls it in for the out. Now battle the designated hitter, Spencer Torkelson. Spencer Torkelson up now for the Tigers. They say you win. No ball. One strike. Swing and a ground ball out to short. And the Tigers ah. retired one, two, three. Down in order go the Tigers. They're down two to one. We head to the bottom of the fifth, and stepping in is the speedy Oswald Peraza. And the right-hander back to work. And that's a strike. And that's too high. And here it comes. Blows the high heat past him. That's a strikeout. 
Oswaldo now, Cabrera stepping in now for the Yankees. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. And that's in there for strike one. For you growing up in New York City, I mean, you're a big sports fan. Tell me about your experience with the Yankees growing up. I really went to Shea Stadium more than I did to Yankee Stadium. I grew up a Phillies fan. There was one game, though, that I went to as a kid. I sat in the upper deck. It was the game that Bo Jackson hit three homers in his first three plate appearances and then hurt his shoulder diving for Deion Sanders inside the park home run. That's probably the most memorable game that I ever attended as a fan at Old Yankee Stadium. Got it by him for the K. Well, I'm not sure what he was waiting on right there. He got the change up and no, still late on it. You rarely see that. It almost makes you think that he was trying to set the pitcher up. I mean, if you can't catch up to the off-speed stuff, there's no way you're going to touch a fastball. LeMayhew in the box again. Takes a strike. Oh, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he is attacked hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. This has been a treat to watch. Pitch is in for a strike, and a count is 0-2. That one missed. One ball, two strikes. Two down, nobody on. Left field, way back there. That one carrying, and it's gone. He sends a rocket to left. Home run number 15 on the year. It's 3-1. He's so good at getting his arms extended, and that's exactly what he did right there. You don't typically want to pull a pitch in that part of the plate, but he doesn't allow his wrist to roll over, stays through the ball, gets the loft, and gets the home run. Here is ball. Aaron Judge. First pitch, just misses. Let's go one more time, baby! And that's ball. down and away, Olsen. Maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, guys, they can come out, feel good, but then all of a sudden get touched up a little bit, and they start trying to throw instead of pitch. They're not trusting their stuff. Yeah, the 2 1 hammered, but foul. Well, he's been good for the most part. Is it going to take someone going out to the mound to maybe refocus him a bit? No, partner, every pitcher's a little different. I, I liken it to you. Sometimes you come in and you're not as focused, and I kind of do what it takes to get you on track, and then you have a great <laughs> show. Uh, so perhaps it's the same with him. Nobody really wants their rhythm broken up, but sometimes they need a little pick-me-up. Next one is off the play, and it's a full count. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at-bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. Kyle Higashioka getting ready to hit. He's a catcher by trade, but the DH here in this one. Throw first and judge back in safely. Another move to first. And they're keeping him close. Swing and a line drive and a base hit up the middle. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Here's Glaber Torres. First pitch doesn't find the zone. One out. Two outs, couple of base runners at first and second. 
That pitch in for a strike. And now it's even one and one. And that's outside. At the belt and fires. Swing and this one's bounced to the ground. And he grabs it in foul ground. In the dirt, blocked. Runners hold tight, but it's a full count now. First and second, two down. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. But add on one more as the solo shot stretches their lead even further. And this is now a three one ball game. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back in the Bronx, start of the six, John Shambi with Chris Singleton, and leading off, Miguel Cabrera. Miguel Cabrera. Rodone back to work. And downstairs. Bullpen activity starting up now. Jonathan Loisica, the right handed sinker baller. He looks to be readying himself. Middleton warming up as well. The lefty, the 1 0. Good eye right there. 2 0. There's the strike. And yeah, that skips in the dirt. Swing and a miss. That one misses, so a leadoff walk. It feels to me like his time on the mound is running short, starting to show some signs of fatigue, so we'll see how much longer they let him go. And now the right fielder, Kerry Carpenter. And there's the strike. Nobody out, runner at first. Foul ball. Well, he got challenged with a good fastball right there. Just couldn't catch up. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because Ward will get around the league in a hurry. And up next for Detroit, Andre Lipsius. That yep. one's in there, 0 1. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Okay. And it's 0 2. The lefty closing in on 100 pitches. And the pitch. And no. 1 and 2. Tough take right there. He swings at that more often than not. And that one got a piece of him. He had him one, two, and he ends up hitting him with a pitch. Darren Boone makes his way out of the dugout, and he will make a move to the bullpen. Carlos Rodon is done in this one. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. 
Now on the bump, Alberta Brave. And he's had his struggles so far this year, as you can see the inflated ERA. Looking to bring that down a little bit right here. First and second, one out. Parker Meadows up now for the Tigers. First offering misses badly for ball one. Always tough to turn two on a speedster like this. It's even harder with him coming out of the left-handed batter's box. You really need something to hit hard on the ground that they can handle to turn two quickly. Next Parker. offering is downstairs. And there's the ball. So definitely a little wild right out of the gate. Well, it could be a little tough coming from the bullpen mound to this mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count quickly. He hasn't. We'll see how this at bat turns out. Two on, one out. Strike on the inside corner. Righty to the plate. And they're all loaded up. Walks out of the bullpen can absolutely kill your momentum very quickly. They're in some hot water trying to protect this lead. Javier Baez up now for the Tigers. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Close, but called a ball. One a ball, one strike. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. ball right side and it finds its way through for a hit runner from third into score and now they trail by one well he comes through clutch with the RBI single that was big not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play that's a team at bat right there nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep Jake Rogers up now for the Tigers In there, and it's 0-1. One out, base is full. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Knowing that the pitcher wants a ground ball double play opportunity here, you've got to lay off pitches down in the zone. Right there, swinging at that pitch, that's a no-no. Right, he deals. One, two. And now it's even up. comes a pitch and that misses off the outside edge ground ball to the right side diving and he can't make the play one runs in a second scores as well it's 4-3 that's all he needed just a simple base hit and he drives in two in a huge spot even though he was really laid on it he clearly barreled the ball because that one was ripped down the line he had to be really short with that swing not get beat by that pitch and here's the tiger leadoff man Akil Badu first Hold offering on. misses the mark Hello. 
That clips a corner. Still only one out here in the inning. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Little tardy on that fastball. He's going to have to get it going a little quicker. Get that front foot down. Lined, and that's a base hit. In comes the run from third. It's 5-3. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. First and second, one out. Next to hit, Zach McKinstry. Checks his swing, now an appeal to third. No swing, just held it back there. Runners at first and second with one gone. That one is absolutely belted way back there. And that one is gone. His ninth homer of the year. And they tack on to their lead. It's 8-3. I'm not really sure how he kept that fair. When you're out in front on a breaking ball like that, such a good chance that it's going to hook foul. But not this time. He kept the hands moving forward just long enough to sneak it inside that foul pole. Out of the bullpen for the Yankees, Greg Weiser. Well, they need someone to stop the bleeding and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. One down. Spencer Torkelson up now for the Tigers. And that's in there for strike one. Weiser, a 6-2 righty. He features a sinker, a slider, a four-seamer, and he works in a changeup. Next Outside. one misses, and the count is one and one. That's down and in. Next offering clips the zone count even at two. One down, base is empty. Swings and misses, struck him out. Boog gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two-strike situation, it's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. I mean, with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs, they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate, so very difficult to get the barrel on it. Next pitch no, off the play. Down. One and one. And you another won. ball. That one misses Three in the dirt. One. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. 3-1 now. There's Three. a strike. Full count. Three balls, two strikes to count. Fouled off the plate. They'll do it again. Three, two. And that's ball, ball four. four. You get a walk, and you get a walk. Everyone gets a walk, boo. Runner at first with two away. Now it's the right fielder, Kerry Carpenter. Go, 
And it's fouled away. Left hand batter waits. Two. That's a strike. Oh, two. Not even One, close there. One and two to count. That no. one just misses. Two balls, two strikes. Up the middle, Torres handles. They get the force, and that is that. But they take the lead on a huge seven-run outburst. We go to the bottom half of inning number six, and the five, six, seven slots do up. It's the Tigers eight, and the Yankees. A new pitcher in the game, Joey Wentz. And you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called lead. upon with big leads now, because it just Tigers. doesn't have the same intensity Number as a tight three. game. So we'll Joey. see how sharp he is. Your yeah. mental toughness matters in situations like this we as well. Anthony Volpe digs That's in so now. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Swings and misses. 0-1. Wow. That's not even close to the zone. Next offering is in for a strike. Activity in the bullpen for Detroit. Tyler Holton getting loose for A.J. Hinch. Going wide. Next offering upstairs. Looking for the K. Oh, tough night at the dish. Punching out for the third time right there. He just hasn't looked very comfortable with the plate. A little unsure of his timing right now. Not picking up the spin and location of these pitches. They'll have some adjustments to make. Next to hit, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. There's a strike. Kiner Falefa goes 5 feet 11 inches, 190 pounds, and he's a former gold glover in the American League. And a pitch. Slice down the right side. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. Next One, offering two. down in the dirt. Chop to the right side, tosses the first, Out. two up, two down. The batter, the left fielder, Everson. Two outs, base is empty. And next for New York, Everson Pereira. Check That's swing, he held up, ball one. into center Meadows settles underneath it he's got it that is the inning one two three go the Yankees can't chip away at an eight three deficit top of inning number seven here's the third baseman Andre Lipsius pitch that's no. off the mark and it's one and oh now ah. one and one in the air out towards right center Connor Falefa glides to his left Long run, nice grab. 
And there's one down. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Meadows in the box now. No balls and a strike. Checks his swing. Appeal down to third. Nope, he held back. The 1 1. Meadows checks his swing. Appeal to third. And yes, he did. That's a swing, according to Earl Hendricks. The 1 2. That one to first. He'll do it himself, Out. and two away to start the seventh. Up next to the Tigers, the shortstop. Javier At the plate, Javier Baez. Baez. Let's go, New York. Come on, New York. That one in there, across the no letters. The next ball. offering misses, and that is ball one. Just ball missed. Right-handed reliever, just off the outside oh, edge. To the right side, collected by Torres. In plenty of time to first, and it's a 1-2-3 inning. So they make short work of them there. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the Tigers eight, and the Yankees three. Bottom of the inning, and stepping in for the Yankees, Oswald Peraza. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. First off, bringing it just misses. Boog, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. The wind of the pitch. On the ground to third. Zips it across. And the leadoff hitter sat down to open the seventh. The batter, the right fielder, Oswaldo And up next for New York, Oswaldo Cabrera. Check swing, got? tried to hold up, now an appeal to first, and he held up. The wind of the pitch. And now two oh. and nothing. Struggled a little bit in this one, a couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2-0. Oh. Fastball for a strike, 2-1 and one now. And a swing and a miss. Fouls it back with two strikes. The 2-2. Two -two. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. The wide to kick the pitch. Battling here as he fouls it away. Oh. 
Next offering is fouled back. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. Swing and a ball popped up. Baez makes the catch. And there's two down. Now batting. The first baseman, DJ LeMayhew. Up to the plate steps DJ LeMayhew. He's already homered here in this one. One of the rare guys at first base that you almost think defense first. He is that good with the glove. You're talking about top of the list, elite defensive first baseman. Ball. Ball one, no strikes. First basemen are involved in just about every single play. So when you have somebody so solid over there, uh, you can breathe a little easier. One one Swing and a miss. And a count even one and one. The other thing about an elite defensive first baseman like him, it, it just instills a ton of confidence in those guys playing third and short that one have ball. to make those long, tough throws at times. And he just handles them so well. So. He really makes the entire infield better with his glove. Got him. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Jonathan Loisica takes over on the mound. Oh, he's having an excellent season so far. ERA is under two. A lot of flexibility coming out of the bullpen. Here's the catcher, Jake Rogers. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely, try to hit the ball out of the park, do what he loves to do. And a pitch. And ball one. You're not just talking about the ability to pick, Chris. One of the things about him, the range is impressive as he's able to go to his right and get to those balls in the hole. That's off the mark. Two balls, no strikes. Right-hander kicks, deals. Remember Mark Kotze was a real good defensive outfielder. Good instincts, not great speed. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Now the left fielder, Akil Badu. Yeah, and I figured you would get Katze into this because you had a free dinner at his house the other night. That is true. Swing and a pop-up in foul ground. Nice grab on the run. Two down. Now that second baseman, Zach McKinstry. So up next, Zach McKinstry. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Movement in the Yankees pen. Randy Vasquez getting ready to go. Left hand hitter waits. All right, now he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, He's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. Kicks and fires. That one ball. off the mark. It's a ball and one, two, two strikes. And that's in the dirt. Next offering oh, is in the dirt. Righty delivers. And there's ball, ball four. four. That's a nice at bat and a great take on 3 2. Probably could have gone either way in that spot around the knees. Spencer. And next up for the Tigers, Spencer Torkelson.
dives, but it kicks off his glove. He doesn't have a play, a tough play, and now there are runners at first and second. Waste no time there. Challenged him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone, and he was clearly ready to jump all over it. And here's the first baseman, Miguel Cabrera. Breaking ball through there for a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Swing and a miss struck him out. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and miss, and you walk off the field. New pitcher for the Tigers, Tyler Holton. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. And now big number 99, Aaron Judge. Oh, he's been having a great year this year and hitting home runs at a good clip, and the matchup is very favorable. And the first pitch misses for ball one. If you're on the mound right now, you know you have to retire this hitter. If he gets on base, it could open up the floodgates for this offense to score some runs. That one's in there. And a count even at one. Big at bat right here. He did the team thing. Took until he got a strike. Now he's got to go to work. Shorten up that swing a little bit. Do whatever it takes to get on base. And it is two and one. And Judge spoils that one. Two two on the way. On the ground, right side, and that's just foul. The pitch. That misses the zone, and the count is filled up. In the air, right field. Judge out on the play. One down. Now batting, the designated hitter. Kyle. Now it's the DH, Kyle Higashioka. He was the big part of the field last time. Nice liner to center. And a foul ball. And the lefty with the 0-1. Just oh, missed. Ball. Tigers bullpen with One some more. action. Bo Brisky getting loose for A.J. Hinch. One one now. Swing and a miss One as he ball. was out front. Started to go after it. Now a look down to first. And Ed Drummond right on it says he held up. 2-2 Two -two now. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Meadows settles underneath it and makes the grab. Two down. As good as he's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's now hand, you cannot hang a breaking ball it. right there. Lucky it stayed in the ballpark. Labor Torres up to the plate. First pitch doesn't find the zone. That one drifts inside. Two ball, no strike.
Line drive, base hit. He's a pull hitter, and that's about as much as you can pull one and keep it fair. So no surprise right there. Nothing the shifted defense can do about it, though. And next for New York, Anthony Volpe. First pitch, just misses. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Kicks and deals. And that one ripped to left. And that's a fair ball. Lead runner makes the turn at second. Lead runner gets the stop sign at third. It's a two-out double, second and third now. Still able to come through behind in the count right there. It really turned on that one, and as it hooked down the line, it was hard to tell if it would stay fair, but it just barely sneaked in there. Now let's see if they can string something together and make it a little more interesting. And now the center fielder, Isaiah Kiner-Falefa. Just no. missed. Two outs, two in scoring position. Liner, base hit. Not in time, he's safe. Play at the plate, and they cut him down. But one run does score on the play before the inning ends. But they push across one run, three hits, no errors, and one man left. Ninth inning coming up, it's the Tigers eight and the Yankees four. New pitcher for the Yankees, Keenan Middleton. Well, he's been excellent against left-handed hitters this year, and that's his first test. This looks like a good move to the pin in terms of the matchup. Kerry Carpenter up now for the Tigers. The pitch. That one missed. Middleton goes six feet, three inches, he features a four-seam fastball, a slider, and he works in a changeup. Next Four. offering is down low. Two O's to count. Now Four. a check Inside. swing, but he held up. And that's in for a strike. Three ball, one strike. And the right hander deals. Ah. That pitch in for a strike. Three and two now. Down. At the belt and fires. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Off for the and next to hit for Detroit, Andre Lipsius. Outside corner, there's a strike. Activity in the bullpen for the Yankees, Randy Vasquez. Getting loose out there for Aaron Boone. Runner at first with no outs here. Close one, doesn't get the call. And that's ball one. And that's outside. And a 2-1 on the way. Upstairs.
That one's in there, and it's three and two. Well, it looks like he's wanting to work the upper part of the strike zone. What does that mean? Top hand better be working for the hitters. Adjust that side a little bit. Give yourself a chance to hit. So now three and two. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. I well, love to see guys compete, and I know he's frustrated that he wasn't able to do anything with that pitch. You see it so well, but you have to respect the upper 90s velocity. Man, it is hard to catch up to. Meadows, the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. Ball one ball there. Ball. One ball, one strike. The one one is fouled off. And here it comes. Goes down looking. And up next for Detroit, Javier Baez. First offering misses the mark. One ball, no strike. A little bit low. Down low. Pitch misses ball. there, and it's 3-0. Three, oh. three balls, no strike. Riding to the plate. So now two, two on and two outs. Well, a good day for the on-base percentage right there. Walk the number three, number and the free bags keep Jake. on coming. You down with you OBP, Book? And now the catcher comes up to him, Jake Rogers. In there for strike one. They say you win. Lifted in the air right center field. Cabrera coming in on it. He makes the grab and that'll do it. So they're able to work around a pair of walks in the inning. Bottom part of the order. 7-8-9 two up in inning number nine. It's the Tigers eight and the Yankees four. Will Vest into the game. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy man and. One of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Number 19, Will Vest. So digging in, Everson Pereira. The Yankees. The left fielder. The Yankees looking to rally. And the pitch. That's in for a strike. Activity in the bullpen for Detroit. Bo Brisky getting loose for A.J. Hinch. And a pitch. That misses. And a count one and two. Got him looking. And now just two outs away. Oswald Peraza will hit next. Oh, 
slider clips the zone. Best. A guy that features an absolute power slider. Throws that pitch a lot. He throws it hard and gets a ton of swings and misses. Ball. Off the mark there, one, one. and it's one and one. And I think being able to expand with that pitch as you start to offer at it that he can move it just a little bit further away. Before you know it, you're trying to hit a pitch that's off the plate. The one one is fouled off. And a one two. Hard hit down the line and left. And that one hops the wall. Safely into second. He's got a double. Back against the wall with two strikes, but found a way. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. He's two outs away. And stepping in for the Yankees, Oswaldo Cabrera. Cabrera tries to check his swing. Now a look to third. No swing. The 1-0. One, oh. one out and a runner at second. Strike two. One ball, two strikes. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And they're down to their last out. Now it's LeMayhew up to hit. The first baseman, DJ LeMayhew. In there, and it's 0-1. Runner leads away at second. Out towards right center field. And that'll do it. After four wins in a row, you start to think a little bit that you're on a roll. And that's the momentum that just takes on a life of its own. Guys start hitting up and down the lineup. You never know who's going to come up with the big hit, who's going to come out of the bullpen and get the big outs. But it's a good feeling, and you want to extend it. And our final here today, 8-4. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon.